If you could fall into Jupiter alive, what would you see? Since Jupiter is a gas giant with no solid surface and is 1,316 times the size of Earth, its immense gravity would pull you in at an initial speed of about 180,000 kilometers per hour. After five seconds, you would enter Jupiter's upper cloud layers. Here, sunlight cannot penetrate and the temperature drops to minus 150 degrees Celsius. Everything around you would appear as a thick white fog, making it impossible to see anything clearly, and you would feel extremely cold. Next, you would descend into the ammonium hydrosulfide layer, where the cold sensation would begin to fade. The white fog would gradually turn into a brownish-gray haze. As you continue falling, you might be caught in Jupiter's monstrous tornado-like storms where wind speeds reach up to 482 kilometers per hour, the fastest storms in the solar system. About five seconds later, your surroundings would turn completely dark. Massive lightning arcs, created by static electricity, would occasionally illuminate your surroundings, and deafening thunder would roar. By now, you wouldn't feel cold anymore. Instead, you'd start to overheat as you've entered a region where hydrogen and helium become liquefied under extreme pressure. Here, your falling speed would slow down, and after about 12 hours, you would reach a depth where the pressure reaches 2 million atmospheres, the metallic hydrogen region. The temperature here soars to 9,000 degrees Celsius, and everything around you would look like you're surrounded by shimmering silver walls. Suddenly, it would feel like you stepped onto something solid. This is Jupiter's core, which likely consists of rock and iron, resembling an ordinary rocky surface. At this point, your journey would end. However, due to Jupiter's immense gravity, you would likely be trapped here forever.